Feels Like Heaven by Rob Reeves. Shit, shit, shit. I'll have to call him. Well, that's a bit drastic, isn't it, Bill? This is drastic, Dave. It's a drastic situation. There's a solar system in there, Dave. A tiny microscopic solar system. Wait, shit. We are going to need a bigger boat. Uh, hi, Joe. It's me, Bill. Uh, yeah, we have news. Well, a bit of boat, to be honest. We have discovered that the uh, Higgs boson. No, but wait, listen to this. It's gone and created a tiny solar system in the chamber. Solar system. Central star. Orbiting planets. The full shaboom. Well, I guess that's why they call it the God Particle. Hello? Hello? She's gone. Why is this happening to us, Dave? Well, we went to know this was going to happen. Well, that's a good point. What? Well, how come you, the big theoretical physicist, didn't see this one coming? How come you missed the possibility of the creation of a tiny solar system, well, in, Dave? In my defence, Bill, I calculated that the discovery of the Higgs boson definitely will not destroy the universe, and I think you'll find that it has. <laughs> You're right, Dave. I can't believe I tried to blame you for this. I need a cup of tea. You know, Bill, this reminds me of the night we had in Argentina. Yeah, but I'm not really feeling that nostalgic at the minute. Actually, we pulled it together, actually. You know what this is, don't you? A scientific discovery. No. It is. It's payback. Payback for sacking us from Switzerland. They didn't sack us, they sacked you because you broke the Hadron Collider. I didn't break it. You did, you rubbed it the cooling pipe. Uh, I slipped on a wet surface, Dave. <laughs> but I'll tell you now, nothing says in your fucking face like a Nobel Prize. Well, don't get too excited because we've still got the massive microscopic problem in there. You know what that is, don't you? A nightmare. Two Nobel Prizes, two Nobels. And uh, actually, I've got a, a bit more news. Oh, go on. You know the fourth planet, Mini Mars? <laughs> don't get it, Dave. You'll get attached. It's got life on it. So wrong. They killed Professor Henry Patterson just because he put a big toe on a sheep's head. He had a heart attack. I'd have a heart attack if they cut me brake pipes. Oh, stop shitting yourself, Bill, and get over red. You're spoiling the party. There's life in there. Real living, breathing micro Martians. <laughs> oh. That's strange. Oh, God. It's. it's. it's died. The whole planet? Well, when did that happen? You've missed the death of a plant. It must have been when we put the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dead. Hello, 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 hello. H2O, carbon, oxygen. We have life on little Earth. See? They'll make statues of us, Bill. Statues they can hang from lampposts and beat with sticks. This is the greatest discovery in the world, Bill. Imagine the things we'll learn by observing the growth of this planet. We'll be able to see how the dinosaurs would have fully evolved. This is exciting, Bill. I want to get in there and have a close look at my house. Oh, what? What have you done? The back of my head. No, no, no. What you've done is you sent a shockwave around the universe, and, and there's, there's, there's an asteroid belt about to go back. I've worked out the dinosaurs, haven't I? <laughs> no, life, life goes on. No wonder they sacked me. No, 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 Joe. There's life. There's still life on Little Earth. We've got to end this. It's out of control. There'll be humans down there soon, and that's going to take this shit to a whole new level. You're right, Bill. We've got to get control of this. Well, I've got the technology to send out some guidelines on how not to mess it up. Yes! Yes, we've got great utopia for them. Yeah. And we could call it the Holy Quran Bible of the ten do's and don'ts. No, 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 no. no. We don't need ten, just one. Be good. That's brilliant, Dave. Yeah. God, it's for me, T. 
<laughs> We're not God. Well, technically we are because we've created the world. We're scientists. We don't believe in God. Well, that's irony for you, isn't it? <laughs> that's it. We've created this. Someone created us in the same way. We've just proved there's no God. No God, no religion, no wars. We've created global harmony. We're going to get the Nobel Prize as well. Well, that's the theory according to the scientists at Disney World. <laughs> Well, what's the real, real right predictions of this booming god, Dave? Oh, robbing, rioting, and raving. <laughs> or global anarchy. Is that what you want to be famous for? Hey, not to mention all the vicars and priests and rabbis we're going to put on the go. Well, the world always needs used car salesmen, Dave. What's happening down there now? Well, oh, um, temperature's up, um, carbon's up, oxygen down. You're fucking! And that is when you end any experiment, Joe. We can analyse the data, maybe have another go at creating utopia. But for now, it's time to wipe the petri dish clean. How have we ended then? Well, I think one really big bang, bang should send thousands of meteors their way, and it will be global obliteration, and the morons won't stand a chance. Okay, Dave. <laughs> I'm just trying to disattach myself. What's the time, Dave? It's nearly quarter past eight. No, for the record, Dave. I'm sorry, um, I don't know, termination 2012? May God be with them. <laughs> well, I feel we should say something. I could say <laughs> That's a bit drastic, Dave. <laughs> it's a drastic situation, really. Oh, come on. Rise before me. The signs of glory help the needy and show them the way. Human kindness is overflowing. But I think it's going to rain today. <laughs> I think we've given one big bang. <laughs> <laughs>